Carousel posts are an amazing way to increase your reach and engagement when it comes to Facebook and Instagram. But what is it that you need to do? How do you make this happen and why should you even bother? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down for you how you can use carousel posts to increase your engagement and growth with Instagram and Facebook and how to create a seamless as in panoramic graphic for you to share on your carousel. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you need to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Now, whatever you're doing when it comes to carousel posts or just posting anything on social media in general, you need to make sure that you have a really good content plan in place. So I want you to go grab my free content planning worksheet that I have for you down below. That's going to help you plan out what you should be doing, goal setting, and all of the other details that go into an effective content marketing strategy. So why should you even bother with this whole carousel posting? It's hard enough trying to figure out what to post on Instagram and Facebook as it is, but now I have to come up with like multiple images to make this work. Well, yes, and I promise you it's going to be worth it. Facebook carousel posts have shown that you can get a 72% increase in your click through rate when you're using carousel posts. And when it comes to Instagram, you're going to have a 1.4 increase in your reach and a 3.1 increase in your engagement by using carousel posts. So this is an incredibly important thing for you to do. So what exactly is a carousel post and why do you care? Well, carousel posts, you have multiple images that you can swipe left on to show a sequence or share information sequentially. With Facebook, we're limited to only five graphics and with Instagram, we have up to 10 graphics that we can use. The objective is for you to share information in an engaging sort of way that encourages people that swipe left mentality. You're gonna wanna use this for things like products that you want to show up, information you want to share, how to do something, testimonials, tips and tricks, whatever it is that you're trying to share sequentially, this is going to be helpful. I would recommend that when you're putting together a carousel post that you start with like what this post, what this carousel is going to be about in the first graphic, have your meat and information through your other ones. And then if you can, at the end, make sure that that last image is something that's engaging that you can draw attention to, like telling people to comment below or take some kind of action. So how do you create these carousel posts? So I'm gonna head over to Canva and show you how you can create a seamless carousel post. What is a seamless carousel post? Well, this is where you have like one really long image where you can swipe and they kind of like all look the same, like a big old panoramic photo, but with the carousel post. So you're gonna really like how this looks. It's a really great way to bring your whole design and all of your information together. So let's head over to the computer. Okay, so to get started, you're gonna go to Canva. I have a link for you to get started for free down in the description below. You're gonna go over here to create design and go down to custom size. Okay, so when you're doing the size, you have to remember that an Instagram photo is 1080 by 1080 by standard. So what we need to do is take 1080 and multiply it by five because that is how we're gonna create. We're gonna take one long image and make it into five and then we're gonna double it, which you'll see. So what we need is gonna be 540 by 1080 pixels and you're going to create your new design. Now, once you're in here, what you're going to do is click on this add page here and you're going to have your two that you need. Now we need to know like our parameters for our squares. So what we do is we go up here to file and we hit show rulers and every 1080 pixels, we're going to add a line. This does not need to be perfect, but it does need to be really close. As you can see, we have this little blue measure at the top that we can use. That's gonna let us know like where we have to go. And if you need your calculator, have it out, okay? So whatever 1080 plus 1080 is, you know, I gotta go 2160. So we go back to here. So now we have our lines and when you click on them, you can see where they are. So then we're going to go and we're just going to create whatever we want our image to look like. If it's a long, continuous design, you can go into like these backgrounds and like load them in. You know, you can use, um, you know, these ones, whatever works for your brand guide, you should do that. Now what I'm going to be doing is creating mine with these solid colors. And then I'm also going to be like making sure I have like my branded text everywhere on my graphics. Now I tend to use things like elements 
for my graphics. So I'll be using a lot of like these for what I'm doing for my graphic. Now, rather than boring you with what I'm going to, with the process of making this, I am going to fast forward to the one that I've created for this. All right, as you can see, this is my completed 10 panel design. You can see I have my rulers and my guides in here that show like where they're going to be cut off. Some little notes for you when you're creating these. One, you wanna make sure that the point of the seamless bleed is the overlap of the images. So as you can see with this line, I have these little bits of overlap. This is gonna be helpful for you to make the design seem, quote unquote, seamless and look really, really stinking cool. Uh, and the background also helps with keeping things all in a line as well. So by having these, you're gonna be able to really have everything laid out for you the way that you want it to look. So now we need to export our images. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna hit download. We're gonna have a PNG. PNG is the standard size that you wanna use when you're doing things on the internet. And you're just gonna hit download. And what they're gonna do is download them right here. So next you need to go to pinetools.com forward slash split image. And you're going to take your compressed design and you're going to upload it here. You're going to hit choose file, upload it. As you can see, we have everything here. We need to change horizontal, PNG, and change it into five blocks, okay? And then hit split image. And as you can see, I have row, all of my images here. I just click them and they download. You can see that they're popping up right at the bottom. And then you're going to do it again for your second image as well. Now what I like to do is create a folder with all of the images and then I correct and then I number them in the order I need them to be in. This is how they're gonna look. I like them. So now we need to go post them. Now you could go through your phone and all that stuff. I find it to be very tedious and on top, but I can't plan my content, especially to Instagram through my phone. So what I'm gonna do is go into Creator Studio and I'm gonna post my carousel in here. All right, so first things first, you need to make sure that you're on the page that you want to be posting to. And you're gonna either go to create post and hit create post or just post something here. It's a little very easy to do that. So this is where it gets tricky and is a little bit more work. So first things first, when you're posting a carousel on Facebook, in order for a carousel to work, you have to have a link. So put your message together and put your link in here. Now, it's important to note this. You can only actually post five of your carousel posts on to Facebook. So you made 10 for Instagram, but you can only actually share five of them when you're doing what you're doing on to Facebook. So you want to make sure that you think of through that when you're doing your creating. That's why it's kind of nice that you can do this in the two parts. As you also saw here, I have to like unselect the pre-generated like images that they were trying to do and upload my own. You have to have a link that generates an image in order for this process to work. Now, if you wanna change out the links, you can change them out at this point to like whatever you want them to be. Like maybe if you have like a better SEO down here, or whatever. But this is how you're gonna make your carousel post work on Facebook. It has to have a link and it has to, you have to change out the images that you want it to use. Now what you can do is just go down here and we can schedule. We wanna schedule it for a specific time, which is again, one of the benefits of using Creator Studio. And boom, I have this scheduled out and I can schedule my post. I can go check on it to make sure that it looks the way that I want it to. Go down here, hit the three, the three dots and hit preview post. And I can see how this is going to look on Facebook click it you can see they're seamless and they also go somewhere which is kind of nice now we need to do this for Instagram so still in creator studio go up here and hit the little Instagram icon right here in the center we're gonna do the exact same thing we're going to select the page that we want to post this to hit view okay we're gonna create our post for the Instagram feed and then we select the account and then we again create our image. However, this time we do not want a link. No links in your descriptions on Instagram, okay? Only hashtags. And even then you might be wanna do like first comment or whatever you wanna do. Then we're gonna go in and add our content that we're uploading from our computer. And they're gonna put them in the order that we want them to based on how they have been selected. But as you can see, they are all right here. Okay, okay, you're gonna wanna add in your hashtags. If you have them saved somewhere, you can type them in 
add a location if it makes sense for you. You can go into advanced settings and seeing if you need to turn on any of this, like turn off commenting if you have a partner. Um, you also can write text into these. This is what people who are visually impaired, so you can tell them like what it says if you want to do that next level of content. Hit the little arrow, hit schedule. And again, I'm just going to schedule these for the exact same time that I have the Facebook one. And boom, I have that scheduled. I can go over here, see that it's here, and then I can also view the post so I can see how it will look on Instagram, right? And you can see how that looks. And then that's how you create a seamless Instagram post and then how you schedule it and post it onto Facebook and to Instagram. Now, if you're wanting to do more with your social media strategy, I want you to watch this video right here where you are going to be able to steal my exact social media strategy that I use to grow my business. And hey, watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I will see you soon.